This is a map of Palestine in 1946, and this is Palestine in 2023. The drastic change involved the killing of thousands of Palestinians, with millions of others being displaced over the course of over seven decades. Here are the historical events that led to the shrinking of Palestinian lands and the foundation and the expansion of the State of Israel. Palestine was part of the Ottoman Empire in the 1900s, and Muslims, Christians and Jews had been living alongside each other in harmony. On the European continent, however, the Zionist movement is introduced by Theodor Herzl in 1896. It aims to create an independent Jewish state in the Middle East, ideally on Palestinian land. The movement begins to take hold as the first wave of European Jews start to migrate to Palestine. By the end of World War I, the Ottoman Empire collapses and Palestine falls under British rule. In 1917, Britain announces its support for a Jewish state in Palestine in what is known as the Balfour Declaration. The number of Jewish settlers in Palestine grows, fueling tensions between Arabs and Jews in the region. Violence begins to break out between the two sides. In February 1947, the UK offers to relinquish its mandatory role and places the question of Palestine before the UN. In November the same year, the UN approves of a plan to split Palestine into two states, Jewish Israel and Arab Palestine. The city of Jerusalem, which is sacred to Muslims, Christians and Jews, is now a UN-controlled international zone. Jews accept the UN partition plan and declare independence as the State of Israel on May 15, 1948. Zionist gangs violently expel over 750,000 Palestinians from their homes and take their land, rendering them refugees as a result. On a day that is remembered as al nakba the catastrophe in Arabic. Neighboring Arab countries object to the land takeover, and on the day following the State of Israel Declaration of Independence, the first Arab-Israeli war breaks out. Israel is victorious and makes a grab for the land, intended for the Palestinian state under the UN's partition plan. The land gets divided into three parts. Jordan occupies the West Bank and East Jerusalem, Egypt occupies Gaza, and the State of Israel takes 78% of historical Palestine, including West Jerusalem. Fast forward to 1967, amid ongoing tensions between Israel and neighboring Arab countries, the Six-Day War breaks out. And by the end of it, the map looks something like this. Palestine is now fully occupied by Israel. Despite the absence of a formal peace treaty, things start simmering down. Then Israelis start settling into Gaza and the West Bank, resulting in a Palestinian struggle that gives rise to the PLO. Their main goal, to liberate Palestine from Israel by any means necessary. Fighting goes on for years. The PLO eventually accepts the division of the land between Palestine and Israel. But the conflict doesn't end there. More settlers make their way into Israeli-occupied Palestinian territories. The international community considers this illegal. The frustration among Palestinians leads to an intifada, uprising in Arabic. As a result, Hamas is born as a political movement determined to fight against Israel's occupation of the West Bank and Palestine's Gaza. Aiming to decrease tensions, Israel and the PLO signed the first Oslo Accords in 1993 and the second in 1995. The agreements lead to the splitting of the occupied West Bank into three sections. Area A, under full Palestinian control, Area B, under joint Palestinian-Israeli control, and Area C, under full Israeli control. But the solution creates a problem. Area C contains the majority of the occupied West Bank's agricultural land, water and minerals. Palestinians have limited access to these. Further peace talks prove unsuccessful. Palestinians lose hope, resulting in the Second Intifada in 2000. And Israel begins constructing separation walls and building checkpoints to control and limit Palestinian movement. It's 2005, Israel withdraws from Gaza but continues to build illegal settlements in the occupied West Bank. Hamas gains power in Gaza and splits from the Palestinian Authority, seeing it as being too secular. The occupied West Bank and Gaza are now under separate leadership. After violence erupts in Gaza, Israel imposes a blockade on the besieged enclave, restricting any form of movement by land, air or sea in 2017. 
Israel has carried out military assaults on Gaza in 2008, 2012, 2014, and 2021. 2022 became the deadliest year for Palestinians in the Israeli-occupied West Bank since 2005. In 2023, Israel carried out several violent attacks on Gaza and deadly raids in Jenin. On October 7, 2023, Hamas launched Operation Al-Aqsa Flood, its biggest attack on Israel yet. Israel responded by declaring war against Palestinians, heavily focusing its military campaign on bombarding the besieged Gaza. Hundreds of thousands of Palestinians have been killed, violently displaced, and forced to live under occupation for decades. But will Israel ever put an end to the conflict in the region and allow the establishment of peace?